Hello there. Do you like to laugh? Are you fond of the occasional musical number? Do you secretly enjoy fart jokes and sexual innuendos? How about extremely vulgar language? If you answered yes to at least one of these, then boy howdy do we have a treat for you. The weird and deranged minds that bring you Strange Fantasy Show have dipped their toes into the proverbial soup of comedy to bring you a new program under the Strange Fantasy Productions umbrella, The Dastardly Dangerous Adventure of Darby's the Cat. Follow the infamous pirate cat Darby's and his mousy best friend Little Gary on high flying adventures as they- Hey, what are you doing? This is a, a closed recording set? No, hey, hey, get off me! What are you doing? Ah, ow! Nice, else you eat some more of me local sapper! Kick him once more in his teeth and tie him up over yonder! <coughs> Why are you doing this? Oh, hush it. Let me tell the good people about the show. Tis only proper. Now I be Darby's, the infamous pirate cat. And this is me best mate, Little Gary. Hello. And we've got our own show now. So join us on the adventure of a lifetime and listen in and download anywhere you get your podcasts. Savvy? If you do not mind, we really need to get to the show already. Yeah, 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 we're going, mate. Fantastic. Ghost host, take it away. Thank you. Cue the intro. Welcome to another regaling of strange fantasy. Obscure odysseys meant to shock the nervous system and stir the very core of your soul. Tonight's tale is of the other side of the coin. How the other half lives and the decisions that are made from fear and control. Not all whom fight have a malicious intent. They are simply bound by their ignorance. Yet those whom lead the fight have no intention other than to destroy what they do not understand. Such is the lesson of damnation. In this installment entitled, The Beasts of Beverly Grove, The Village. All right, gentlemen's waiter. Scuttle that. I'm winning this heat, and besides, not one of us here is a gentleman. All right then, what does the winner get? Winner gets to drink free while the loser split the tail. Done. Done. You cheated. Ah, you never win. I saved my best game for when it counts. Ah, you skunk. You were playing possum. May I say you were warning? Ooh, speaking of prizes, I think mine just rung the bell. At least Cosgrove. (laughs) <laughs> Stick to drinking, you got no chance. Better chance than you. You know she only has eyes for Seth. What's that about, Seth? Lady like that and you don't want nothing to do with her? Please, you're welcome to her. She's as sweet as all summer pie. But unless you want someone to just stay at you, all dreamy or in mind, well, she's next to useless. Mind if I give her a shot? Be my guest. Best thing you could do for me is to get her fancy off me head. Another round says you don't get nowhere with her. On. All right, spill it. Why aren't you picking up on Elise? And remember, I know her better than he does. I know she's smarter than what you say. Makes it too easy. She come round for dinner three times. 
And after that, she's talking weddings and children. Not to mention her stories, always telling a fancy to try and get noticed. Oh, what are you waiting for then? That's the worst. A girl like that wants to make you her kid and you don't run away. Not before you better a few times at least. <laughs> All right, you give that a go. Don't come crying back to me when her father takes a knife to your pantry. Boy, that was quick. Might I assume it may be premature to rouse around a hail to the king of the valley? That's putting it a bit soft. Every time she opened her mouth, it was like your name what gave her breath to say the next word. Seth took me on a walk in the grove last Tuesday. Seth's hands are so soft and soothing. Seth raises the moon at night and teaches the wind how to whistle. She never said... I might have taken certain liberties, but that's only because I long to feel such soft, gentle lips. Give us a tingler. <laughs> you need help. No, oh, I do. Please, owe me in your soothing hands and let me be healed. <laughs> Christian! Oi, 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 stop, hey, hey, stop, she can't know I'm here. Why not? Christian! Hey, it's supposed to be my turn to watch Russell. Why not just tell her you'd be home in an hour? Let me explain something to you. You don't play around with the butcher's daughter. You ever seen her stick a pig? <laughs> Seth Miles. Good day to you both. A good day to you. Either of you seen that husband of mine. Everything all right with the baby? Oh, Russell's fine. My Paul's watching him, but Christian was due home 20 minutes ago to take over. He probably just got held up in the field, you know. We see him home if he passes our way. He's on door there. Well, as you said, he's probably held up. Might as well take advantage of being out of the house while I can. What are we drinking? Uh, we was actually just leaving. Right. He should probably head home. Christian's probably there waiting for you. He's not. He's under the table. That I will. Christian is such a good husband and father. He'd never let me down by abandoning his poor wife with a newborn babe. And he's such a sweet little thing. He has his father's eyes. Those same sweet gentle, innocent eyes. Well, we'll let you have the title. <gasps> oh dear, look at that. I've knocked over me cup. I'm just so weak from not getting enough sleep. Oh, let me just... Please allow me to get it for you. Please don't tell her she'll be the end of me. <laughs> be quiet, you git. Well, we're off. I'm sure Christian will be waiting at home for you when you get there. Enjoy your point. Good day to you. A fine day to you both. What a git. Good day to you, sir. A good day to you. Well, I'll just be getting home. Leave you two lovebirds alone. We missed you at dinner the other night. Sorry. One of the cows dropped a calf and I had to take care of her. I understand. You just got that fatherly spirit. You think you can make it tomorrow? It's not half convenient. Oh, please. I'm making a pudding for dessert. And everything is ever so fresh. I'll tell you what. If I'm done with me work by nightfall, I'll come by. That would ever be so lovely. You should tell that story about the storm last winter, when you was on watch and bathhouse caught on fire. Father loves hearing you tell that story. Well, your father was there for most of it. He led the fire brigade. Oh, I know, but the way you tell it, it's always so much more lively. The way you are with words, you can almost feel the heat of the flames on your skin. Have you heard about the dance next week? Actually, no, I hadn't. Oh, the mayor just announced it. Suppose that'll mean someone will be asking me pretty soon. Sure hope it'll be someone I like. Well... Of course, if someone wants to ask me, they'd better not wait. Else I might say yes to the wrong man. Then it will be too late. Get another drink in your dear, and then you can tell me all about it. Thank you. Who the devil was that? I was beginning to wonder if we'd find anyone in that wood. Well, it's okay now, home. I've got ya. All right, all right. Give the girls some air. Don't need to crowd her, you know. Now you just drink up, sweetheart, and tell us what happened. Oh, well, she's dressed. Have we ever had a visitor here before? How do you think she boy? Now hush, the lot of ya. Go on, dear. I was in a plane with my fiancé, and we crashed. We had to bail out. We've been trying to find our way back home on foot. Please, do you have a phone I can use? I need to call Air and Rescue. My fiancé is still out there. There, there were wolves. I, I should have left him, but he told me to run. Um, 
I don't, I don't know if he's still alive. I, I can't believe I just left them like that. Do you have a phone? Well, it sounds like you've had quite an ordeal. If we can let help through, you. Let me through. I hear Beverly Grove has got its first visitor. On behalf of Beverly Grove, may I be the first to welcome you to our village? Too late, she's been welcomed. Oh, well. Then may I add my greetings and salutations. Thank you. My name is Alistair May Phineas, and I am the mayor of this humble town. Now, what brings you to us? My plane crashed. Oh, my, my, my. That sounds most unfortunate. I suppose it was a bad crash. Well, I've never heard of a plane crash that wasn't. Of course, of course. Always terrible. And the horses were unable to travel. I beg your pardon? He doesn't want to admit that he doesn't know what a plane is. Preposterous. I used to drive them all the time. Oh, hush up, you old fool. None of us knows what a plane is. How can you not know what a plane is? Wait. What is this place? What's happening? Now, we'll be happy to explain everything. Tell you what, you look like you could use a rest and a good meal. Seth, would you take Miss... I'm sorry, what was your name? Sarah. Would you take Sarah to Mr. Cosgrove? Ask him if he can oblige her with a bed and a hot meal. She says she had someone with her. Her fiancé, you said, dear? Yes, Peter. Whereabouts did you leave him? Just off the trail, about five to ten minutes running. The path led straight here. The east or the north path? I found her coming up the east path. Tell Miles to get a few men together and go have a look for her, gentlemen. There now, dear. All taken care of. You go rest. When we find Peter, I'll bring him to you. Thank you. You're very kind. All right, all right. Nothing more to see here. Go about your business. How do you think she got here? No idea. Do you think we ought to put a guard on her? Lost little lamb like that shouldn't be giving us much trouble. I agree, but still, a stranger in Beverly Grove. It's just unheard of. There may be talk. As long as that's all there is. Seth! Seth, I need to speak with you. Any sign of the missing fella? That's what I need to talk to you about. What do you make of that girl that come here? Sarah? Oh, she's great. She's been telling me all about the place she comes from. Do you know, they have flying machines. And she has this little box that she says lets her talk to people far away. But she seems normal otherwise. Normal? Normal how? We found something when we were out looking for her gentleman friend. We promised not to tell anyone before we saw Phineas. But I got to tell someone. Well, what is it? About half a length up the track, right where she said them wolves jumped them. Yeah? Well, we found the wolves, or rather, what's left of them. They was torn apart. No sign of a fella, but there was two or three of them dogs just ripped open. Render limb from limb, they were. Thinking maybe a bear? Bear would have taken the meat. All the parts was there, just not together. It was a sight, I'm telling you. So what are you thinking? Don't know what to think. All I know is that something tore them wolves to pieces. And I sure as scale don't want to meet it. Maybe it was a beast and no Shabu Castle. Stick it under, would ya? Phineas gonna let her stay here? For a time. You know, she's actually quite a breath of fresh air. I like my air the way it is, thanks. No, I mean, she's not like the, the girls from round here. Of course not. She's foreign. Oh, where's your welcoming spirit? I can tell where yours is all right. What do you mean? You think she's pretty? Suppose you don't. I didn't say that. I just ain't as willing to dive over the handle for her as you are. You be friendly all you want, but remember, she already has a fella. That's when we moved everything to the western fields. See, Pa figured that the soil there would be more suited to corn. Next harvest? Yield nearly double. That's amazing. So you do all that by hand? No machines or anything? All is God intended. I had a little garden back home. I could barely keep a couple of strawberry plants alive. I can't imagine having to keep a field of corn going. It's hard work. Tell me about strawberries. What are they like? Wow, that's a question I never thought I'd hear. Strawberries. Uh, well, they are these little red triangular berries covered with tiny black spots and they taste heavenly covered in chocolate. Um, Please tell me you know what chocolate is. I don't know how you people survive here. Well, we, we have everything we need. 
Does no one where you come from reject technology? The closest thing I know of are a group called the Amish, but even they mingle with normal people. I've, I've never heard of any group living in complete isolation apart from... Oh my gosh, I did not mean normal in a bad way or that the Amish weren't normal. Can I just start the whole thing over? It's all right. No one out here is under the illusion that we've been following the most common way of living out there. And nobody's ever left. There's talk from time to time. Some folks like the dream. Truth is, you put a cot in front of a dinosaur, dinosaur's just gonna stare at it. Gonna be as useful as eggs to a tailor, you know? So, farmers where you come from, how do they maintain their crops? Well, I don't know much. I have seen these huge water sprinklers that roll from one end of the field to the other on a timer. And I read about these tractors. Pardon, I don't mean to be intruding on what you be telling Fancy about, but I was wondering if there had been any word about the man, the young missus being missing. Not yet. They have three parties out looking, though. They'll find him proper. I heard rumor the missing fella be your suitor. That true? Yes, he is. Isn't there anything we can do? I don't know if I can stand just sitting around waiting like this. I could take you out to join up with one of the search groups. Now, you don't know these woods. William isn't going to do any good. They'll find them. I'm sure they're going to find them. You just got to keep your mind off it and keep telling me about them big contraptions that farmers use in your village. <laughs> sure you shouldn't be letting the mayor talk to her. He did say he was wanting to see her. Well, then see her he shall. But may I offer a scenic route? We head north and fall around the village's edge. She'll give us a nice hour or so to talk. I'd like that. Sure as I'll come with you. There you are. I was getting worried, dear heart. Now sure as you was to have headed over to Suzanne's by now. I was just heading up by taking Miss Sarah to see Mayor Phineas. Now you can't keep Susanna waiting like that. She can't manage all them torches for festive. Not to worry, Mr. Cosgrove. I'm taking her from here. It really should be me, though. Maybe we can meet for a walk for just us. I'll be done in a right diff. If daylight permits. Until then. Oh, Father, you do but have no sense for Tick. What are you on about, dear heart? Seth's been bewitched by that lass which was just bound here. Now, you mustn't be downhearted. From what you say, Seth isn't right but head over heels for you. Passing in the night ain't gonna change all that. Well, she's been here a day and ain't been off her for a moment. He's just being hospitable, dear. His art is yours. What man couldn't love me, little nugget, after all? Sooner she leaves, the better it'll be. No telling what that'll be, I'm afraid. Soon no sign of her other half. Mayor said Volt went to putting her out for she outstay her welcome, but said they promised to find her fella first. Alive or else? Father? You know that castle bid me not to tend. Suppose they searched there? I think not. You know our boundaries forbid it. But the stranger wouldn't know our boundaries, do ye? Speak not. Then it should be checked. Not to save your life, dear heart. Man choke on a stool, don't cut off his head so he can breathe. Some natural orders you don't mess with. Creatures there you don't see the likes of. Have you seen the likes of them, father? No one has, dear heart. Then how do you know? And see the air I breathe to know it's there. Some things just is. Can't we go and look, father? Absolutely not. You may be strong-headed, dear heart, but willful gets trouble more than a shine. Head on order, Susanna. She's been waiting long enough. So, what's the good word? Once the lady has arrived, I will tell you along with everyone else. Well, confidentially, let me just say, I'm all for having her out as soon as we can manage. I'm as hospitable as the next man, but she's been telling about some strange things. Is that right? Harmless stuff, mind you, but it has the people talking. I'm not one to begrudge, but already people be talking about wanting to see the strange castles that scrape the sky. Well, you'll be pleased to hear then that she won't be gracing us with her presence much longer. That right? Yes, we're comfortable that we've searched all the lands around the village. If your young man survived, probably set off already. And what if she don't want to go? Not a matter for discussion. It'll all be... All right, my little turnips, we have a guest of honour. Let her through, let her through. Go on now. Ah, yes. Come up with me, my dear, and stand next to me. 
Now, Miss Sarah, what do you think of our little village? It's lovely. Not like anything I could have expected. Well, we thank you very much. Now, as you have been told, you are the first visitor that we have received since, well, since before anyone living can remember. And it is with a sad heart that we tell you we have not been able to find your gentleman. But in the spirit of goodwill and friendship, we would like to offer you accommodation for... <laughs> oh dear, what did I say? You just put your foot straight in it, didn't you? Imagine that, telling the poor girl her hem is dead. Oh dear, yes, I do see your point. Do you suppose I should go after her? No, love, you say your piece. I'll bring her back. So, as I was saying, we shall offer accommodation for two nights. Then a small clutch of men will escort you, uh, her, south three days journey where our records indicate she shall find welcome and safety. What about in Woos we be here by? We catch the beast that did it? No, no, not yet. It's undetermined what may have slain It's the... unsafe to be sitting ours out in borders. Maybe it were the beast of the ground. No, I ain't taking no step outside the borders. Now, that's quite enough. We already have volunteers for the guides. There's no need for concern. Now let's make the young lady feel welcome for the remainder of her time here. Now, back to what ye all were doing. Now, where has Elise run off to? So what is it then? No chance she'd be staying? No, my boy. We must think of her. We must pale next to the castles which stretch towards the sky. Um, <clears throat> was wondering if I could volunteer for that guide set. What a lovely idea, my lad. I think we can arrange that. I'll bring her back and I'll keep that tongue of yours out of your cheek. Pardon, have either of you seen my lease? She was here earlier, sir, but I, I don't quite know. She ran past us in a mate hurry just a tip ago, muttering something about the castle. The castle? Are you sure? Tis true. She wouldn't. Can't be near that foolish enough. You're right, Jack. I am sorry. I, I must go. Good day to you both. Good day. Now, my child, I must apologize for my harsh tongue. I didn't mean to imply that you were without hope. True, we have not found him, but we have found no remains either. If he was dead, then there would be signs. What my husband is trying to say is that you mustn't give up. He may have gotten away and have passed our village completely. For all we know, he may be halfway home by now, looking in a freight for you. You're very kind. I'm sorry for reacting so badly. It's just that with the commotion, and I expected good news, and it's it's not that. Um, I don't appreciate the thought, but I, I can't stay here indefinitely. Oh, my child, I'm afraid you are at a disadvantage. I was going to say that we would like to offer you accommodation for a few nights, up till the Noi festivities, and then we have arranged for our number to take you home. But seeing as how you, you won't be leaving until after the dance, I was wondering if you would do me the pleasure. I'm afraid I'm not a very good dancer. Well then, shall we learn? Is it my imagination, dear? Or is he... Good to know you haven't lost your senses for it all. You got a right pair there. Asking for trouble. If you ask me, she'll be home in a fortnight. If you knew you'd only have me for that long, that'd stop you? Point made. Miss Sarah? It's Christian, right? Yes, Mrs. Thought everyone had went to bed. Well, they have done. My wife and I have a new baby. It makes sleeping a bit put off. What about you, Mrs.? Shouldn't you be in bed? Just keep worrying about Peter. He's out there somewhere and... There's nothing I can do about it. We've done all we can, Mrs. I promise you. Oh, I know. I'm not blaming you. Everyone here has treated me with wonderfully, but I just need to do something. You know, my parents... They'll tell you one thing that I was never good at was sitting still. I just... I mean, if Peter's alive, that means he's out there and he is scared and he's alone. And if he's... And if he's dead, well then... I just need to know. I just, I need to be certain. Now, one good hope is worth a sack full of certainties, missus. You hold on to that hope. Even if you never see him again, there'll still be a chance he out there looking up the same star, same as you. He was all alone when I found him, you know. His sister died in a motorcycle accident a few years back. It wasn't his fault. Peter walked away, but his sister took the brunt of it. She needed 
kidney, but Peter had a drug problem, which he financed by taking experimental vaccines for clinical trials, so he couldn't donate. His parents blamed him and shut him out. Took his sister's death pretty hard. Turned his life around after that, became the man he is today. Peter just, he just has a way of seeing everything so simply, you know? Well, simply how, miss? Well, it's, I mean, no matter how chaotic or stressful or complicated things are, he just has a way of seeing through it all. It sounds like he'd fit in great around here. He probably would. He's so simple, you know. Not like you, miss. No, not like me, no, not at all, no. Total opposite. Ever since I can remember, it's been all go with my family, taking music lessons, learning languages, cooking classes, go, 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 go. My dad was the one who bought us the flying lessons as an early wedding gift, insisted that we fly ourselves for our honeymoon, just like he and mom did. It was Peter's idea to fly ourselves for a pre-wedding trip instead. That way, daddy gets what he wants and I still get the honeymoon of my dreams. I think that's why I like him so much. I just feel so at peace with him. Nothing bothers him. You ever know somebody like that? I know exactly what you mean, missus. I used to be a right treat. Always pilfering things I never did need. Then one day, I was steaming this pie that was left out. A woman who baked it caught me, made me sit right down and eat and right in front of her while she went hungry. Told me nobody be the wiser, but only if I came back the next day, so I did. And she gave me another pie. I ate it and she ate nothing again. Next day, same thing. I went on for days. Never spoke a word as she sit there and just watched me. And finally I asked her, why is she just sitting there watching me eat and eating nothing herself? She tell me it's what she would have had if I had taken the pie and gotten away. So I asked her, why she have me sitting there watching? And she tell me, because she figured I see what my thieving do, or I don't be thieving no more. And did it stop you? That it did. And next day, I bring these two pies. Lumpy, awful things they were. <laughs> I made them myself. But she sat down and we both ate these awful, burned, lumpy things. And it were one of the nicest meals we'd had. So she never turned you in? No. Well, she did the next best thing. She married me. <laughs> you fellas out there, when someone gives you a gift like that, it don't just disappear from the world. You really love it here, don't you? That I do, missus. I could get used to this quiet. It's ironic. The reason Peter and I were on that plane is that before we got married, we wanted to go get away from it all, just get unplugged, leave the world behind. Well, sure enough, you managed to find the right place. So much for quiet reflection. Peter? Sarah? I take it this is a young man you've been looking for? Yes. Yes, it is. This is Peter. Alistair Phineas. And it is an absolute delight to meet your acquaintance, lad. Wherever did you find him? He found us, as it turns out. Are you alright? I'm fine. You sure? Nobody's hurt you? Yeah, she'll be fine. We look after her proper. That we did indeed. Well now, this is a course for celebration. We are having a dance in a few days' time, and I would say it would do us honor if you would be our guest of principle. What do you say about that? That sounds Appreciate lovely. the offer, but we have friends that'll be going mad with worry, and we owe it to them to get back as soon as possible. Ah, well then. Then may I offer... A bed for the night is really all we need. I'm already set up in one of the cottages. Well, that's... Perfect. Thank you for your hospitality. Well, well, um, of course, lad. At least allow me to have you some food made. I'm sure you must be starving. I'm fine, really. The best thing for me is a warm bed and... Warm bed. Oh, and Peter? a warm bed. Sit this young man <laughs> down below. Go and, and tell my wife to bring a nice warm <laughs> stew. <laughs> I'm fine, really. <clears throat> Nonsense. Now, I won't take no for an answer. You wait right here, and I'll have it bought straight away. The rest of you, on about your business. It's late and no sense in you acting like a lot of old women. Are you all right? Wherever have you been? I've been going out of my mind with worry. I've been worried about you, too. I found this place right after we were attacked. These people have taken good care of me. Yeah, not exactly what I expected. What are you talking about? I found this place, a castle. Has anyone around here mentioned it? 
One of the villagers told me about the beasts of Nosebo Castle. It sounded like a ghost story. It's a castle, a big, classic, medieval-looking place about two miles from here. That's where I've been. They never mentioned searching the castle. Probably because nobody goes there, because they're not allowed to go there. Peter, if you- Just listen, all right? Now, I don't have much time to explain, but we need to leave here as soon as possible. Now, I've got everything we need to get home, but there's something I have to do first. Peter, I haven't seen you in almost two days, and now after just two minutes, you've completely lost me. What on earth are you talking about? Just tell me, have you met anyone in this village named Christian. Yes, he was the young man you saw me talking to a few minutes ago. Okay, that's one hard part done. Now I just have to figure out how to draw his blood without him noticing. Peter, stop! Now I want an explanation. Not here. These people have been nothing but nice to me. They have been searching for you nonstop, and now that we finally found you, I I don't have any idea what you think is going on, but you're going to tell me right now. Thought I heard you turned up. You must be Peter. Miles is me. I have to say, I was starting to wonder if we'd ever find you at all. I live a charmed life, it seems. Have to ask, what happened out there? I mean, Sarah said you were attacked by some wolves, and you ran at him to defend her while she ran off and, and found us here? That's right. What happened to them wolves, then? I, uh, fought them off. That right! Yep. You know what they say. Take down the leader, and the rest are easy. Will you excuse us? Sarah and I have a lot to talk about. All right, young man. This should put you in. Wherever did they go? Just missed them. That girl as charming as could be, but that fellow of hers has no manners, bless my soul. That gent? He just found us, is that right? Yes. Couldn't have been here all of five minutes. Then where did he get those clothes? I don't take your meaning. Well, think how the woman has dressed when she found us. His clothes are like ours. Quiet down, quiet down there. I know you've all been woken and have good mind to tell you why. Yesterday, we opened ourselves to help the strangers, but it was all a lie. I tell you, these strangers are dangerous to us all, and I intend to make it known. Let's go. What the hell is going on here? What in hell is exactly what we are intending to find out? What do you and your friend really want from us? We don't want anything from you. Not but sure you're lying to us. What was he trying to do? I have no idea what you're talking about. Where have you taken Peter? He's on his way, but we want some answers now. I'm telling you, I have no idea what if you're- If you have nothing to say, then we'll leave it to him to explain himself. This man was discovered attacking one of our own in his bed not moments ago. That's not true. He was found holding the syringe ready to plunge it into none other than my friend, Christian Glauer. I was not trying to kill him. But I put it to you, my friends. Is this the kind of man we want in our homes? What have you got to say for yourself? I merely needed... needed blood. Blood. <laughs> no. <laughs> not enough. I mean... He's gonna die with the blood. <laughs> Punch. Either he is mad or bewitched. Either way, I am not willing. What the devil is going on? The stranger was found attacking Christian in his sleep. Where is Christian? Uh, I, sir. Is this true? It's true. And I saw him snuffing some of that right when he got here, too. What a foul concoction this is. The castle must return. The castle! That must be where he got his clothes from. Now, child, you must tell me. What do you know of this? Nothing, I swear. He's been acting strange ever since he got back. He mentioned the castle, but... Here, nobody is allowed to go to the castle. It is forbidden. Our boundaries do not extend. Listen! Please, I must speak. Elise, this is no the time... The beasts! The beasts at the castle! The beasts at the grove! I seen them! You what? But I went up to the castle to look for the young sir. And I know I weren't supposed to. But what I saw gave me ever such a fright. The great, big, 
terrible things. And they had one of those needles. They tried to stick me with it. They're monsters, I'm telling you. Why would he want to stick you with it? Why would he want to attack me? It make no sense. Blood magic, sure, and I'm telling you, we got to do something. I heard them. I heard them saying they was going to come here. They was going to come here and wear our skin. They want to put things in our heads. They've been watching us, and they say they, they're going to come after nightfall. They could be on the way now. Calm down, calm down. Now we have no proof. And they sold them. What other proof do you need? Elise tells fairy stories all the time. She has a fancy about stories. You see, we all know this girl is prone to flights of fancy. Whatever is happening at the castle, we don't know what it is or how it connects to this man's state. Put them out. Get them right out of town. They was going to leave anyway. Make it tonight. We will do no such thing. This man is in no state to travel. All the better. Let him fend. I have no intention of allowing ourselves to be taken advantage of either. We will put up a guard around the village. If this young man truly has been bewitched by the castle, lock them up. Both of them. No! Sarah has done nothing wrong. If he has been bewitched by the beast, then it is only he that is a danger, not Sarah. Very well, lock him up. Tread carefully, dear. I pray this will all look better in the light of morning. Set a perimeter guard. Best men we have. Peter? 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 What is wrong with you? Huh? <laughs> no. Peter! Peter! The tin! Need the medicine! Me- me- medicine? Medicine? Is this what you need? Is this what you need? This tin? This tin? Yes! yes! Give it. Oh, that's better. Oh, I've really landed myself in it this time. Peter, what the hell is going on? Oh, I'm a fool. Peter, I woke up and you were gone. They say you attacked a man. I didn't want to worry you. and I didn't attack him. I just needed some of his blood. And that's somehow supposed to make me feel better? Peter, they're going to put us out of the town in the morning. What are you thinking? In the morning? That doesn't give us much time. Once they put us out, there's no chance. Much time for what? Sarah, listen very carefully. The castle. There are people there. Strange people, but they need our help. With blood? Yes. Now I'm going to need for you to trust me because I don't have time to explain everything. But I need you to take that syringe, get a sample of Christian's blood, and take it to the castle. It's straight up the path. Just stay on it and you'll be fine. I will do no such thing. You are in enough trouble already and if they think you're up to something- Please, this is important. The man at the castle, he saved my life. He needs the blood for a cure. I promised I wouldn't let him down. Even if I agreed, what am I supposed to do? Bump into him and pretend he got a bad mosquito bite? He's gonna notice. The baby, the baby in his house, is is it his? Yes. Then that should be as good. Can you get to the baby? Are you seriously suggesting I stick a baby with that needle? I don't see another way. Please. All right. Good. Go now. The path by the cottage with a stack of small barrels in front. It'll lead you straight there. Hurry. I want answers when I get back. Peter? Peter, is that you? Lila? Lila, what the hell are you doing here? I came to protect you. He shouldn't have sent you. How can I help get you out? Don't. I'll be alright. They're going to send us home in the morning. But you must get back and tell Mason not to attack. If they attack, who knows what they'll do? Attack? What are you talking about? I heard one of the girls talking. She says she was at the castle and heard they were planning on attacking. That's impossible. They never allow it. Well, somebody certainly gave her that impression. His experiments have always been- Look, Sarah's on her way with the blood. You can't destroy the masses without it, but it's pointless without you there. So get out of here now! They said they were going to put a guard up, and if you don't go now, you may not get out. I don't know how to thank you. Don't get caught. Go. Get him out of there! 
I told you pull the perimeter guard. Why? No need for a guard when you've caught the spy. We've caught your lady friend. You what? She was trying to make off for the castle, but we stopped her. You leave her alone. If you hurt her... <coughs> Muscle him. Alistair, you need to stop this. You wanted proof of their sorcery. We found it for you. Bring her in. Here's your proof. A spy from the castle. One of the creatures sent to hunt us. Miles, this has gone far enough. If you're not going to protect us, someone has to. You want to tell me you're not in danger? Look at this. And that's not all. Jack is gone. We took Elise to find her father, and there's no sign. They must have taken him. How long are we going to allow this to continue? The girl has seen them, heard their plans to attack. This one has already taken Jack, and, and who knows what else she has done. Could have put any of us under an enchantment for all we know. Then we shall have a trial. We are not a lawless rabble. The law exists. How many more of us have to die? Law applies to people, not things. You can't just take out law on whomever you like. We need a judgment. String them up. String them both up. There's your judgment. Let me through. Move, let me see them. <laughs> This madness! Move! Make way! Make way! Ooh. I said move! Oh, she's got a knife! No! Tyler! There. All is well. They're dead. Give me that knife. What have you done, Shia? What needed to be? Attack the castle! Oi! Bring the fight to them! Silence! What do you say, Mayor? We've dealt with the spies, but we know the beasts are planning an attack. Will you protect us, or do we need to find someone who will? Is that what you all want? To attack Norsible Castle? Then we shall attack the castle, destroy our enemies before they destroy us. After all, they've been a threat to us for a long time. I know we've all heard the stories. Fairy tales of beasts and goblins that live in the castle and consume those who dare enter. And it must be true, because every day for the past hundred years, we've seen them, right? I mean, it makes no sense, doesn't it, that they'd want to hurt us now? We've provoked them so much. Why else would they come? We may never know now. Because of that, they're dead. I don't know why they're here, but I do know that they have no reason to harm us. She's a monster. Monsters do have reason. Did you have a reason to execute her? Because you say you have, but I'm here looking at the only monster here. Have any of you read our history? Do any of you know where our legends even come from? No, you cannot be bothered. Our records name only one devil who ever walked among us, and he was destroyed by his own hubris. Richard Mason created terrible things, was responsible for hundreds of deaths, my own kin included. A man like that, I'd slit his throat myself, but we can't make villains out of shadows. So you want us to wait? Wait until the shadows gather and consume us all in darkness? We shall go to the castle. Alistair? To investigate nothing more. Christian, put a group of men together. The rest of you? Go home. I'll lead the men personally. The hell you will. I'll lead the men myself. If you want to be useful, form a guard. Better safe than sorry. I'm very proud of you. Stay safe. We'll be back soon. It's all right. They're gone. What the hell was that? You actually cut us! Father was a butcher. Lucky for you, he made me help him growing up. I had to cut you deep enough that it'd be convincing, but you should live. Figured you'd prefer a shallow cut to a rope around your necks. Why are you helping us? Men get all riled up, can only see one thing. I got a sixth sense for good people. You don't glow like trouble to me. Thank you. They'll be heading for the castle any minute. You know where Sarah is? No, she came by the house to apologize. Said she was sick in the head from being lost in them woods. Fetched her a cover. Baby started crying, and when I came back, she was gone. She may have gotten out. Peter, if she's at the castle when they... You're right. Was Sarah ever alone with your baby? Yes, when I went to fetch the cover. Why do you want to know about my baby? What is wrong with my Russell? Nothing. I'm sure he's fine. Then why are you asking? What's she done to my Russell? I don't feel well. 
Lila? Lila! The tin! Shit! Where's the tin? Thank you. It's a disease, isn't it? Yes. Can you walk? I don't think so. I'll have to carry you then. You'll never make it in time. Come on. Not a moment to lose. You're not going anywhere. Not until you tell me what Sarah did to my Russell. Your baby is fine. This girl is not, however, and unless you let us go right now, she is going to die. Go. Thank you. And thank you for saving us. You look worried. You've been gone for a while now. Your husband's with him too? By and true. Not to worry. Alistair is a bit of an old shoe sometimes, but he'll look out for him. It's not just that. I, I'm worried I may have made a terrible mistake. I think we all made a terrible mistake. You shouldn't have done that. Cut their throats like that. Poor girl. Sarah lost that man of hers twice. Such a horrible thing to happen. You don't think they should have been killed? Of course not. We turn our own. Tain't no better than wolves in winter. It's just not like you, Shyla. Ah, Seth! Elise! I see you were smart enough to stay behind. He stayed behind to protect me. That's not why I stayed. Have either of you seen Sarah? No, she should- She's at my home, watching the baby with my paw. I'd best get back there. I should speak with her. Tell her about Peter. Let her have one more night, thinking her man is alright. There's enough pain already spread tonight. Come on, Seth. Take me back to me home where you can protect me proper. No, I need to find Sarah. It's, it's not right her not knowing. That's not why you want her knowing. With Peter gone, you hoping she'd be wanting you now. What are you talking about? All broken up and you right there to take them pieces together. What about me? My father's gone all and you can care about is her. Elise, we don't know they took your paw. Now, I'm sorry he's missing, but... He'll turn up, I promise you. It's all her fault. I didn't want her man to get killed. I just want to find him, so Sarah'd leave us in pieces, all. Oh. You didn't make up that story about them monsters to get rid of Sarah, did you? My paw is gone, and you're all I got left. He's gone. Ain't that proof for you? What did you do, Elise? You're my sweetheart. Why can't you see that? Once she's gone, It'll be just you and me. Just like we was. Elise, we are not together. We have never been. <gasps> She's bewitched you. She has. Hasn't she? My poor addled husband to be. How could I think you'd ever deny me out of course? Elise, stop it now! I'll tell everyone you was bewitched. And they'll make it all right again. Elise, that is enough! <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, oh no. Elise? E Elise? Oh God. Come on, Elise. Wake up. Come on now. Don't quit your fooling. Elise? Oh God. Oh God. Oh, come on, Elise. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sweet on Sarah, but I never would hurt you. Elise? Elise? Oh God, what have I done? Seth, come quickly! What is it? They're attacking! They're real? They came in off the ridge and I... not dead? I pulled the blade. Just a surface cut. What have I done? You didn't know. You didn't know. You're not to blame. <laughs> oh God, Elise. What, what kind of beast would do this to a young girl? Their kind.
We found Mark Hartle's body, and that makes 19 dead. This is my fault. Miles pushed for it. He was just trying to settle him and the rest. Why would they attack us? We've done nothing to them. Nature of the beast. Even Shyla said so, and, and she always sees the best in everyone she knows. Should have been assigned to me then. Never known her to be wrong about a living soul. When she slit their throats, she knew the truth before I did. What truth? Do you know who I met at the castle? The devil himself tried to shake my hand. He gave me a choice. Not sure if I chose right. Nobody is to go near that castle, ever. I'm sorry about your wife. Say your piece and go. Is it true? Did you have Peter executed? No, child. I wish I had, but his death was not my doing. And his body? Burned by now, as all the dead will be. Are you going to punish the person responsible? Look around you. I think there has been punishment enough. I don't understand what happened here, but Peter would never have been a part of it. The man I met in the castle made these creatures. You think he couldn't have controlled your husband too? Fiance, he would have been my husband tomorrow. May I stay here? If you'd asked yesterday to stay, she'd have told me to say yes. He was always a smarter person than I. All right, you can stay. There's enough blood on our hands to go around. If you'll excuse me, child, I've got goodbyes to say. You're going to stay then, Sarah? I'd like to stay for a while at least. Well, that's wonderful. It, it's just, I know it was in that castle, I saw it. Peter may have been wrong, but your people still killed him. He didn't deserve that. They were scared that whoever sent them beast was controlling him. It doesn't make it right, but they thought they was doing what was needed. I just don't know if I can live with that. If reasons for staying don't work out the way you hope, then you can always leave, right? Suppose so. I'll get you set up in the cottage next to mine. Why don't I show you uh, to your new home? And uh, you can tell me all about Peter. Remember him proper. Seth, may I speak to you? Can't, can't we just... Uh... It's important. All right. Sarah... It's all right. I'll see you at home. At home. This is my home. What is it? I had to tell someone. It's driving me mad. It's Peter and that girl. They're not dead. Who told you? Shyla? Shyla? No, why would Shyla... She was the one that slit their throats. Now don't worry, I haven't told anyone. It'll just be our secret, alright? Uh, how'd you find out? I if this gets out, the town will want to hang her. They'll blame her for all of this. Now don't you fear none. Tain't nobody need to know besides us three. But don't you think we ought to tell the young missus I've... After all, her groom is... What good would it do? She'll want to go after him, she will. Then best not tell her. What? We can't do that, Seth. The girl got a right to know when... You tell her. And I may have to tell who up and let the beast girl go. You can't. I I told you. They'll hang her for consorting, for, for, for treason. Then you best keep quiet. You can't keep something like that from her. A gentleman wouldn't... Then I guess it's a good thing that neither of us is a gentleman. Yeah, I'll see you for drinks tomorrow morning. Oh, bye. Oi, don't look so sad. You're safe now. The beasts of Waverly Grove are dead. Not all of them. It is impossible to count the number of ways in which events could have played out. All that is and was and will be lay at your feet as the blood begins to seep deeper into the dirt. Thus concludes tonight's strange fantasy. Tune in next time for another look into the strange and obscure. Strange Fantasy Show presented The Beasts of Beverly Grove, The Village, written by Michael Song, produced by Ashley Scarborough and Travis Scarborough, original score by Travis Scarborough. The players of tonight's tale are as follows, Ben Lopez as Peter, Ashley Scarborough as Lila and Karen, Shane Hill as Phineas, Michael Song as Christian, Ty Anderson as Miles, Travis Scarborough as Seth and Jack, Akasha Villalobos as Sarah, Morgan Clyde as Shyla, Carmina Manley as Elise, and Heath Allen as Dr. Mason. Strange Fantasy Show is created by Travis Scarborough and Strange Fantasy Show is copyright 2021 Strange Fantasy Productions, all rights reserved. Any and all characters appearing in this work are fictitious and any resemblance to real persons living or dead is purely coincidental. 
This episode is dedicated to the very special memory of Salem Witch Trials. You're the bestest boy, buddy. Hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Strange Fantasy. I'm Travis. Ashley here. We're the creators, writers, and producers of the show. And we just wanted to take a quick second to let you know that if you like Strange Fantasy, be sure and show your love by subscribing, downloading, and rating the show on iTunes, Spotify, or any of the many platforms we exist on. And for exclusive rewards and merchandise are just to donate to our cause to help us to continue to thrive. Be sure to visit our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash strange fantasy. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram by searching Strange Fantasy Show for updates and haunting original art. All this and more can be found at our website, strangefantasyshow.com. From Strange Fantasy Productions, we do have a brand new project out called The Dastardly Dangerous Adventures of Darby's the Cat. It is available anywhere where you get your podcasts. Thanks, Thanks for, for listening, listening and, and see you next time. time.